through a lifetime spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. She prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and others, to Horizon Forbidden West. This is the sequel to the very popular game Horizon Zero Dawn, released back in 2017 by, uh, by Guerrilla Studios. So, in a nutshell, this is a game about a young woman named Aloy, who's uh, learning what's happened to the world. So the story is it's uh, set in the 31st century, where the world is ruled by these giant, these great big-ass um, robot machines. Some of them in the form of animals, some in the form of dinosaurs, and some like fly flying creatures. And basically our girl Aloy finds herself at the heart of it, trying to figure out like why these things are there. Because they don't exactly look like naturally occurring phenomenon. So um, I'll, retra I'll retrace some steps um, as the, the story goes on, um, because there's quite a lot to cover. Uh, and I'm sure we'll encounter waypoints and, and lots of informational things that'll jog our memory as well, because it's, uh, it's been a few years for me as well, since the first game. Now, as this is a sequel, there will be some heavy spoilers in the coverage and even in the story, I'm, I'm quite sure. So, um, yeah, if you haven't played the first game, then please check that out before continuing with this Let's Play, because, uh, yeah, I mean, the first game is just awesome. Absolutely awesome. So, um, if you're still here, then, uh, yeah, sit back, put the kettle on, and let's get into Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, let's go with... Story, easy, we're not going with easy, normal, hard, very hard. This isn't my first rodeo, so let's go with hard. Explorer, okay, this is interesting. Uh, Explorer guided, minimal hard information, look at the world to find your way. Markers and icons on screen to assist you on your way to... Let's go with Explorer. Oh man, this is going to be awesome. Getting back into it. Look at them. I 
I'm running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. People are suffering. Soon, they'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then... Extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AIU designed to control the system. But every time I think I have a lead, it comes to nothing. And every night, I have the same dream. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. For a moment, I feel whole. But it never lasts. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So! What are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um... I, I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you. No matter what, you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus? Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We 
we've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. Okay, that's basically for our reference as well. Of course, this is the uh, heads-up display unit. You see like this all the time? That she got when she was a kid? A girl. Come on. Shall we? <laughs> All right, I got a couple of scrapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants, stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. Okay. Basically, tutorial time. So, uh, we have zero medicinal berries. Don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. The focus Let's helps test see it out. Let's need. jump. Let's roll. Uh, pr tap R three to trigger the focus pulse. There we go. There, those plants by the stream should do the trick. That is it, baby. That is it. Let's go. Um. That is uh, to get our weapon. It's fine. Got this to aim. Uh, we have nothing to shoot. <laughs> that looks like crouch. Okay. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Let's pulse. Let's get these berries. And triangle to pick them up. And then once we've got enough, can we... Ugh. Bitter? Yeah, well... I see. They make you feel better. All right. Okay, we don't worry. Going. We're gonna... We were gonna get all of these here. Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. Oh, you bet, Val. Yeah, you bet. Idea. So, from what I remember of the first game, I believe Val was the was he the uh, the village chief's son or something like this, and he he and his sister uh, they, they they went and rescued the mother or something like this. I I need to remind myself. It's been a while. It has been a while, and I hope we get some reminders as well. More berries. So I, I kind of um, I think this is pretty good. It could be a bit. It could make the game certainly a bit more challenging. This um kind of lack of a decent, lack of a uh of, of a consistent heads up display. Um, but it does kind of make the game the experience a bit more immersive, don't you think? Look at that. Right, this way, I guess, is it? I mean, we've got the basic waypoint marker on the map showing us which way to go. <coughs> the blight's infecting all the plants. Hmm. It's changing them. If it keeps spreading, nothing will grow. That's why we have to fix it. Yeah. So basically, this is basically the Those ruins. focus of that's this game. To go. So I guess that's where we're going. I see a few ways down. What are we after exactly? Is that Back something up? over there? Well, um, it's an AI. It's um, it's hard to explain. Think of it like a set of instructions that can fix the world. <laughs> Sounds complicated. Oh, she comes up with some wonderful explanations. Noticed your uh, traveling light these days. Yeah, I um, ran into some trouble on the way here. Lost a lot of my gear. Oh dear, I didn't know that. Okay, where are we going? I don't know how to put these ropes here, but we can use the line to slide down. Let's go. Woo! Let's go. Um, down this one. Awesome. Okay, anything else? Do you guys see anything? I want to check down here quickly. Let's see if we can... 
Oh, hello. How do we submerge? Uh, there we go. Okay. Not bad. Got some valuable stuff there. Alright, let's, uh, let's get on up. Based on the trailer, I believe we get something that'll A few supplies. help us with being underwater. There's more of the red growths here, too. Yeah. Not good, is it, Val? Not good. Glenox. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. They left a carcass behind? I didn't... Uh, let's take a look. I mean, look at this, guys. Uh, swipe up from the touchpad to reveal the full HUD to review the current quest objectives. Oh, this is pretty good. Reach for the stars, go to the ancient ruins. Okay, because as you guys probably know, if you have any familiarity with these games, no don't have like seven odd quests going at the time, at any time. We'll have like the main mission, probably have like a number of side missions as well. And yeah, having things like this here is a good way to to be able to see them. A lot of arrows in that machine. Better take a closer look. I love the focused pulse thing. You know, the little scanny things. It's brilliant. Let's take a look at this. Someone took down this machine recently. Hmm. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. There's some ridgewood by the stream. Indeed. Let's craft some arrows then. Yeah, so as you guys can probably tell, this is the tutorial mode. Teach us how to right. gather supplies, now how to craft scenario. stuff, how to... You know, do the full... do the full thing. Okay, hold that there to open the weapon wheel. Uh, now, this is the hunter bow. Of course, we get better bows as the game goes on. And then we can probably buy other ones and craft other ones. And we need hunter arrow pack. So let's go and craft them. Uh, so how many, um, we've got 10, we are able to hold 20, let's get another 10, there we go. Me too, arrows ready. I like my arrows, because I tend to miss a lot. <laughs> so, uh, no nothing wrong with having too many arrows. Alright. And of course, keep an eye out for supplies. Ain't nothing wrong with supplies. Gather that ridgewood. Okay. Oh. Come on, Aloy. Get it. Right. Let's carry on. Let's go see what is going on here. So is it into there that we want to be going, ultimately? I mean, up there, obviously. There's a ladder. But can't reach it from here. Nothing a well-placed arrow can't knock free. Just have to target the lock. Boom. After you. Why, well, thank you, Val. He's a gentleman, isn't he? Okay. Shall we? Around here. More blighty stuff. Interesting. What was this place? I don't know. The transmission... The, uh, message I found didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. Look at this, guys. This used to be a car. So, um... How cool happened? is that? After I left Meridian. Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then, some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. 
Oh my word. This is what cars look like in a thousand years, guys. Awesome. Let's get that ridge wood. Good, good, good. And what do you bet we're going to be throwing down pretty soon? Down this way. Okay, set pe Oh, here we go. Here we go. Get to the grass. Now in the first game, we could hide in the grass from these things. And I got the impression that uh, we were able to hide because basically Aloy's got red hair and plants are generally red. Okay. Okay. So I don't know how Val's gonna do it. Okay, let's. Oh. Come on. Yeah, we, we're scanning. Hold that there. Give it a second. Oh, I see. Okay. Did, we, did, did it work? Let's try that again. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. There see we go. How parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. Okay, use that to say cycle through. So it's a borrow, borrow a sound shell. Attack removal. Okay, that's an upgrade piece. It's eye. The it's eye is the weak spot. spot. It's indestructible. Right. It's weak to fire. Uh, Alright. Contains valuable destroyed when killed. So, detachable. So if we can detach that. Borrow a sound shell. Destroyed when killed. Or maybe... I don't know what to hit. What do you guys think? We don't have any special arrows or anything like that, so maybe just... Should we try and detach this thing here? Oh, hang on. Let, okay, let, let's let's try and attach... Let's try and... Oh, that's scanning the thing underneath him, isn't it? Okay, let's go for the shell. Okay, concentrate. Oh. I told you guys I'm not very good at this, but let's go. Oh crud! Oh yikes! What is that? Ball, get out the way, buddy! Oh. Oh! Oh! Cripes! Oh! Crumbs, what the hell? Oh! Still getting my bearings, guys, still getting my bearings. There we go. Jeez Louise, that thing hits hard. I mean, my Another God. Okay, did we... Oh, man. All of the good stuff got destroyed. Did it? Oh, no, wait. This fell off. Yeah, this is the stuff we were trying to get right... Oh, crud. Another one. Oh, yeah. That's how you slow down time. That's it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, crud. What am I saying? What am I doing? Slow down time. Oh, jeez. Did we hit it? I feel like we didn't hit it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, baby. Let's go. Boom! How does the focus know all that? It reads data on a machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah. Okay, small machine core, metal shards, not bad, not bad, not bad. So, after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. The Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city, and I set out to find you. 
All right, so that was the first engagement of the game against some borrowers. We survived, which is always good. It'd be quite embarrassing if we died right here. I mean, come on, this isn't a Souls game. Okay, looks like we're going up there. Well, what you doing, buddy? Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I see another ladder. Looks like it's stuck. Don't worry, buddy. I got this one. Got it. Okay, well, we're down to six arrows. Let's do something about that. Here we go. Now I'm going to try and get as many collectibles and many items as I can. But I think this is the downside of having this kind of display. Yeah, found my first one when I fell into a ruin. What is Got this? Got the others from an old cache not long ago. It's good to have extras. Rather than um, a full-on heads-up display. So I'll probably miss a few things. So I'm hoping that... Uh, why are we cr why are we crouching? Oh, to go through here. Yeah, I'm hoping that we'll be able to come back, or at least revisit some areas that we miss. Okay, yeah, where are we going here? This way. Tap L3 while moving to sprint. All right, over here. Through here. Going into okay. The of the old ones. Welcome to Farzinus Launch Facility. Farzinus? Farzinus. I, I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? Will Please okay register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. Yeah, let's register. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you, Doctor Sobek. Hmm. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. Well, let's find a way in. Okay. So, uh, the scanning thing basically thinks Please that we're Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Access denied. Credentials not recognized. Oh, hello. I guess it doesn't like me either. I'll take that. Ancient wreath. Iron ingot. Let's go through the door. Should be able to pry this open. Um. Nice one. Wait, so did we actually have a fight, a, a spear, in that last fight that we weren't using? This climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. All right, let's examine this climbing gear. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Hmm. Let's Ugh. get on up here and find What's out, though. Entire camp. Wiped Whoa. Out. They must have come here to delve for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in Jeez. from above. Crashed right through the camp. And then through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Examine the rubble. Okay. We shall do that in a in a gif. Just want to check out some of the stuff here. God, I love the scanning. Love it, guys. Mm. Man, this was a whole camp. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Yeah, let's go check it out. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. 
What you got, buddy? It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. Man, that focus. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. When the next iPhone or smartphone looks like this, Acid burned right through focus, then yeah, it's time for an upgrade, I think. It will be time for an upgrade. Oh, okay. So is this a, a super rare item then, if it's purple? Let's see. Examine the rucksack. Of supplies here. I guess they plan to stay a while. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. What? Oh, machine scrap. Okay. Anything else? I don't think there's anything else. Oh, around that side maybe? Yes, over here. What? Machine cable. Stronger than rope. Alright, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. Alright, so this is where we learn about crafting tools and upgrading our equipment. All right, so we've got a pull caster. I love the names. An, impro an improved version of a Delver's prototype tool that can latch onto an object and pull objects. Also enable grappling to specific points. Let us craft it. Crafting complete. Okay. There. Uh, pull caster. <laughs> now to test it on the debris. Pullcaster is a versatile tool that allows you to manipulate objects in the environment that have a, gr a grated pattern. Okay, so we've got to look out for the grated pattern. But where's the grated pattern on this here? Uh, okay, so to build the hold L2 and tap triangle. Triangle. Okay, that, that looks like it, right? And then pull back. Okay. That worked better than I thought. All right. Search the ancient ruins for a backup of Gaia. Okay. Because you know that's why we're here, guys. We're looking for a, well, a backup. Doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. Yes. Yeah, so we are basically looking for a backup of the Big Mama AI program that uh, terraformed the planet after it was destroyed uh, at the end of our century. What's this? Let's see what this console is. Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. Okay. Wonder what's in this auditorium. Guess we'll find out. Are we going the right way Any here? Luck? Not yet. But scanning the area with my focus activated might show me something. That uh, she's talking to us there, basically. I'm scanning. Uh, 
I don't see... Don't see anything yet. Yeah, and I am scanning the area. I should open up my focus display and see what I can find. Hold R3. Okay, I'm doing that. Okay, basically, we've got to get up there, right? How do we get up there? Maybe up there? How do we get up there? Mm-hmm. Round... Not round here, right? I should open up my focus display and see what I can find. Oh. Does that look like the map? Okay, I see a ladder. But... I don't think that's what we need. How do we get up there? That's the question. Oh, do we just jump for it? Is that it? Alright, let's go. Any luck? Hang on, we need to we need to run, don't we? But scanning the area with my focus activated might show me Oh something. Do we need the pull caster or something or? Let's uh let's try it. No? Um What what do we have here? Uh, not nothing there. I should activate my focus. Scan the area. Oh, I might be able to get up there. Grapple. Use a grapple. Uh, you can grapple to specific points of the world. Jump and tap X to. Oh, okay. Wow. All right. That works. That pull caster is useful. So now the, the, the pull caster is going to be used as a grapple worry, like that, is it? I'll find you another way up. Okay, how can we get Val up here? Uh, how can we get Val up here? Well, we saw the ladder around that other side, didn't we? Hmm. No, not there. I suppose we gotta go up, haven't we? Okay. What are we seeing? Okay. And tap square to, to climb down, okay. Um, while moving, tap L3 to sprint. And tap X while sprinting to perform a long jump. Okay, 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 let's do this. Oh! Go! Go, girl. Whew! Just a walk in the park. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. Okay. There you go, Varl. Come on, buddy. Thanks. What, what am I doing? We want to be going in here, don't we? Alright, let's open the door. as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our government's abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. The serious system. There, 
will create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. Okay. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimbumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. The playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For their colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe escape the inevitable and so we reach for the stars looks pretty cool now you've seen what we're building here infrastructure to support the odyssey's construction a state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements and you've seen how we're managing public perception so invest and join us Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. They just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Basically, well, yeah, well basically, yeah. Didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There. The backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. Okay, so how are we going to get to the data center? I still can't believe the old ones can fly. They were capable of a lot of things. Oh, wow. Um, good. <laughs> okay, sure that's how you like use the, the spear, it seems. like up there, among the stars. Yeah, we had some pretty badass uh, capabilities here, Val. The wilds have really grown over this place. What is that? Okay, I think I can get the hang of this. I think I'm getting the hang of this uh, grappling hook thing. Chill water, machine muscle, and shards. We'll take all of this here. Oh, yes, we shall. Oh, God, that was terrible. My focus might be able to help here. That was terrible. Oh, god, a bush is in the way. Oh dear, what the hell? What the hell is going on? I'm just trying to jump to this other ridge. There we go. Okay. Let's focus. Let's look around. 
Okay, I think this is what I was not doing before, guys. I think I was tapping R3 rather than holding it down. I should be able to pull that thing out of the wall. Okay. What is it? Triangle, right? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wrong one. go just destroy a wall that's just that's how we roll okay uh, is a boss fight up ahead there'll probably be a boss fight up ahead so let us get into the mental headspace for a potential boss fight up ahead right guys we're gonna take a quick break here um, I mean, this is, yeah, this seems to be Horizon Zero, this seems to be Horizon Forbidden West, and as you can see, it's a, a beautiful and amazing and lush and vibrant game, and yeah, it's gonna be awesome taking down some, some giant-ass robots. Um, I'm gonna try and release episodes of roughly this length, possibly a little bit shorter, maybe a little bit longer, depending on, like, where it kind of feels right to, to end it. So if you're new to the channel, then I basically like to play games of this nature, games with a strong story uh, and character or narrative-driven focus, and I think this will definitely be one for the one for the for the channel for sure. As I always say, uh, if you aren't haven't already subscribed, please uh, consider hitting that like and subscribe button, as it does help the help push the videos up through the older YouTube algorithm, and your support is most welcome. So then, that is it for now, guys. We're going to take a quick break here, and when we get back, time for some more Horizon Forbidden West. Thank you very much, and I will see you next time.